All right. Uh, this comes from that park place. Ubisoft allegedly spent between 650 and 850 million on its quadruple game Skull and Bones. <laughs> That's why they called it a triple A game, man. It's because they spent so much money on it. Yo, we need to make back our almost a billion dollar pro or the billion dollar project. Holy crap, man. How did they spend so much money? This is insane. Rumor claims that Ubisoft allegedly spent between 650 to 850 million on its quadruple A game skull and boners. According to YouTuber Endemion and his sources with Ubisoft, the project that ruined the Ubisoft and put them in dire financial position they are after Star Wars Outlaw soft sales in the second quarter is Skull and Bones, which he claims lost between 650 to $850 million. How is that not money laundering? Sorry. Like, but yeah, how is that not money laundering, man? That's nuts. That's crazy. In the email shared, I was also told the project that ruined Ubisoft was not actually Outlaws or Shadows. It was actually Skull and Bones. Now... We did hear earlier this year that Skull and Bones was their quadruple A game and that you shouldn't own any of your games. We did hear that from them, which is crazy, right? My sources told me that they have, been, they have seen multiple different versions of the game and they were each completely different over the years. They said that they were told that the budget that was spent on Skull and Bones, it ranged from 650 to 850 million over 10 years, he added. And that Skull and Bones failed so badly for Ubisoft, it was the actual reason why they're dying the way they are it's not only it's not actually outlaws or shadows if you can believe it so they sunk a legendary amount of resources into that game and it clearly did not work out for them at all look the game does look pretty high budget but it's not the type of game that i would play and i don't i haven't heard anything about this game i haven't heard anything singapore funded skull and bones Maybe. Man. See, Ubisoft CEO uh, Yves uh, Guillemot infamously, <laughs> infamously described Skull and Bones as a quadruple A game and attempted to justify its game's price tag of $70 during the company's quarter three sales call for fiscal year 2024 back in February, about a week before the game's release. He was asked by one investor, how could you, could you maybe unpack for us a decision that priced it at $70. You've certainly emphasized that it's a design for a lot of uh, live services. What drove the decision to make the game pay to play when that could presumably limit the size of the player base and thereby PRI in the game? He responded, you will see that Skull and Bones is a fully fledged game. You can see it on the market today. It's a very big game and we feel that people will really see how vast and complete the game it's it's really full it's a really full tr triple a quadruple a game that will deliver in the long run no it didn't oh man why play skull and bones when you can play black flag yeah holy crap man look it does look crazy now now here's the thing you see this this one this uh this mermaid over here this mermaid statue that's like attached to there's a bee mermaid over here you know this pillar over here now, if she was naked and her boobs were hanging out, you know, like, I think it probably would have been better. That, that's just, that, that's just me. All right, following the game's release, Tom Henderson, the Inside Gaming, reported that the game currently has about 850,000 players total at a time of writing, which includes those who have opted to play the game with the eight-hour free trial provided by Ubisoft. In the same report, Henderson detailed Ubisoft spent around 200 million on the game and doesn't expect it to make it back so wait wait so this is the current one right now in the most recent 24 hours it's peaked at 412. all time for two months really that's it hold on hold on uh let's go to let's go it's conquer is no one playing conquer it's zero good good uh uh, what's it called again? Skull and Bones.
It's been out for two months. Your peak is 200, uh, 2,600 people. That's, that's so bad, dude. Holy crap. 600, and, between 600 and 850 million dollars. That's nuts. It's estimated that the game will have sold between 23,000 to 34,000 copies. For comparison, that is around the estimates for Firework Studios Concord, Concord has estimated Steam sales between the fact that you have this quadruple A game and Concord didn't even crack 700. Wait, we had one person playing this game in the past 24 hours? <laughs> Who? Who's playing it? How? I thought the game was over. Oh my god, dude. Oh man, that's that's a, if this is if this is actually true, this rumor is true between 600 and 850, that is legit crazy. Now, if the game was like 40 bucks, it was a live service game, and I think it would have been a little bit more, you know, uh, you know, palatable for people to like, "Oh, I'll try it," but $70 and it is a live service game. That means that there's going to be monthly stuff. There's going to be gotcha. Like, it's not going to be great. A lot of people are already really, really upset with, um, with, um, you know, the seasonal passes and whatnot. And on top of your $70, uh, premium price tag and it's having the gall and the audacity calling it a quadruple A game. It makes sense why Ubisoft is dying. This is crazy, dude.